Hey guys, it's Tamara from Happy Singing Channel and although this is one of my first videos, I want to jump right in and talk about a subject that I feel really interested about when it comes to singing and that is singing and auto-tuning. Now perhaps you've been using auto-tune in your recordings or your covers and don't see any harm in doing that at all. But it makes me sound so good. How can that be a problem at all? Well, I'm gonna be totally honest and tell you that I am not convinced. So join me for this video and I will be talking a lot about auto-tune, where it's from, and how that affects your singing and your videos and all the things that you do. At the end of this video, I'm gonna ask you some important questions which you should probably ask yourself if you are using auto-tune and give you my Honest, professional thoughts. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Let me just get comfortable. Just wait with me. The software that we know as Autotune was started by this guy, mathematician Andy Hildebrand in 1997. I just realized how loud my fridge is in here. You should know that before Autotune was actually released, people were editing recordings, even since the beginning of when they were able to record, to distort the sound and make it sound better. Hildebrand was just able to create a program that did it much more efficiently. And I have to read this, this is really hard to say all of these words. With the use of advanced digital signal processing algorithms. Say that five times. <laughs> So basically a computer fixes your voice and you don't have to go and do it manually, which thus saves a lot of time. Now I'm not gonna go into a long lengthy bio on Hildegard, but you should know that he originally was a scientist who then left the scientific career to pursue his love of music. He loved music so much that he left the oil engineering company he owned just to go and pursue and study composition. It's kind of like Coco Chanel, you just never know what your path will be. After his studies, Hildegard then went to create a company that would focus on making software and plugins for the computer that are music related. And of course, what did he create? Auto-tune. So then Hildebrand was able to create a program which would go into a audio recording and fix the instrumental or vocal performance. The music industry went crazy and this became a staple item in all professional recording studios. And so it was used unknowingly until Sher brought out the song Believe in 1998. Sher. Sure. Am I saying that correctly? I feel like my accent is butchering it. Sher. Sure. Sher. Sure. Now originally the song Believe didn't actually have auto-tuning heavily in it, like what you hear now. Now before its release, the song Believe didn't have heavy auto-tuning sounds on it. Mark Taylor, her co-producer, decided to tinker with it a little bit and decided to just turn it up. Cher and her team decided that they'd release the song with heavy auto-tune, which gives her kind of a sound like a robot, a musical club dancing robot. And all of a sudden, Auto-tune was exposed and everyone realized that the music industry was using it. Okay, before question time, let me just get comfortable. I need to move around. This place is such a mess. Um, currently in quarantine still. And right, look at this. My fiance just loves to leave out giant bags. Look at this, it's like the size of my body. Bum chica. Okay, so now we know a little bit about auto-tune. I want to ask you three questions. One. Should we consider using auto-tune on recordings cheating? Two, isn't using auto-tune just moving with the times and using a new instrument? And three, will auto-tuning make you a better singer? Here are my professional thoughts. To answer the first question, yes and no. Have you ever seen those videos where they compare a photo and then the photoshopped version of that? And how that's like really not okay in the media at the moment, a lot of magazines are just pulling back on their editing. Well, they do that because it gives you a false sense of reality. And I'm pretty sure auto-tuning does the same thing, but just with a different sense. As someone who teaches young people, a few years ago, I just decided that I would be not using heavy filters or you know, photoshopping my pictures on my Instagram or in my photos on Facebook. I just decided I'm not gonna do that because I want to just be me exactly how I am and how I was created. I don't want to strive to be someone who I can't actually be unless I fake it. I don't know about you guys, but learning to sing is really hard, takes a lot of work and a lot of practice. And I'm okay with that. 
I don't want to just do some McDonald's run fast food of the music world and put a filter on my voice to make myself feel like I am a better singer than I actually am. So can you be a professional singer if you can't actually sing? Yes, the music industry has taught us that, that you can. So as a professional, am I okay with auto-tuning? Of course I am, but it has to be limited to being on a studio album and that you just want to fix one or two notes instead of auto-tuning your entire song. That doesn't sound like you. I am going to finish this question with a quote by a producer who, after purchasing auto-tune um, back in the day, said to Andy Hildebrand, my job used to be finding good singers. Now I just have to find good looking singers. That doesn't sit well. My answer to question two is yes, of course, I think there is a place for auto-tune in experimenting with different sounds and music. Look at Daft Punk. I love their robotic, unearthly sound. It sounds awesome. But again, it's more as like a compositional tool opposed to just fixing a voice and pretending that's human. And my answer for question three, is auto-tune making you a better singer? Um, no, sorry. It's not. And if you are constantly using filters to fix your sound and then putting it out there and pretending it's actually your voice, that's not really honest. And that's not being true to who you are inside and what your instrument is capable of doing. But what if I don't have good quality gear and my recordings suck? Who cares? It doesn't matter. It's, it's not about being perfect all the time. Everyone's just gonna get worn out from that. Maybe you should just be putting music out there that sounds like you. And if it's not perfect, no one really deeply cares. Okay, if you're singing the entire song and you can't hit one sort of note, maybe you should consider putting that stuff out there before you go and get some training. But everyone else is putting their covers on YouTube and they're auto-tuned. Do you wanna be like everyone else? Make sure you ask yourself before you put that cover up with a heavy filter and a heavy auto-tune, is this a singer I wanna be? Or am I okay with just going back and working on my craft and making myself better through hard work and experience? You don't have to be perfect. Maybe just sing and enjoy it and be yourself. Anyway guys, I hope that gives you some food for thought about singing and auto-tune and your voice. I've decided that on this channel, I am not going to auto-tune my voice at all or put filters, heavy filters on any of my singing. I'm just singing into the camera as it is. And if I sing a wrong note every so often, I don't care. It is, that's just how I am. And that's what my sound is. So again, if you have any comments, let me know below and I will see you guys later. Happy singing. If you enjoyed this video and want access to more free warm-ups, meditations, and other singing-related videos, make sure you subscribe. I am a new channel and any support is appreciated so I can make more material for you guys. Anyway, that's it from me. See you next time.